Moving to the next chapter, which is like a multi-factor authentication, which adds an extra layer of a security whenever you are creating a different IAM user. So as you have seen, we have created a test user in our previous chapter. So now what we will do, we will just try to enable the multi-factor authentication so that that particular user feels more secure and our accesses are pretty much secured inside our AWS cloud. Now, how to enable the multi-factor authentication? So for that, what you need to do you, in the search box, type IAM, and you need to be a root user to enable the MFA or multi-factor authentication. So click on this IAM user uh, section service over here. And here, click on users on the left-hand side, and here you will find all the users. So I'm just gonna choose the user, which is a test user demo, which I have already created. So click on that one. I'm just going to close this one and here uh, you need to find the option for a MFA multi-factor authentication. So go to the security credentials over here and here you will find an option for a multi-factor authentication. So click on assign MFA device. And here you will find a multiple options. So like authenticator app, security key, hardware, TOTP. So these are the few options which you can use for your multi-factor authentication. So I'm just gonna choose with the authenticator app, okay? So there is one authenticator app which you can use inside your mobile to provide the multi-factor authentication, all right? So what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna put a device. So I'm just gonna put a uh, test user iPhone. I'm just using my personal phone for multi-factor authentication. So I'm just going to use that one. And here I'm just going to choose the authenticator app and then click on next. And here, uh, like install the compatible application such as Google authentication or Duo mobile or auth app. So I'm just going to install the Google authenticator app onto my mobile. All right. And after that, uh, we just need to show the QR, open your authenticator app, show the QR code on this page, then use the app to scan the code alternatively. And uh, fill into consecutive code of your MFA device. Okay, so what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna download my authenticator app onto my mobile, and then I'm just gonna later on fill these details. And I'll include that screenshot of that authenticator app uh, over here onto my screen. Okay. All right. So this is my iPhone and I'll just go to the app store over here and which is this one. And here I need to type Google authenticator. So I'm just going to type Google authenticator app. And here you can find this is the app Google authenticator. I'm just going to click on to download. Okay, it has been downloaded now. I'll just click on open over here. Click on get started. And here you just need to have one Google account to use this particular app. So, so just use any Google account which you have on to your mobile. Click on continue. And here you can see this is the Google Authenticator app. And here we need to click on add code over here. And here we will choose the option scan QR code. So select that one and it will open the camera of your mobile. So click allow over here. And here, uh, if you'll see onto the screen, then here these are the MFA uh, page of our AWS Authenticator app. So here we need to click on show QR. And as soon as you uh, click on the show QR, then it will automatically accept that QR code. And after that, we need to enter the code. So here, the code which I can see over here is 438681. So this is the first code I'm just entering onto the screen. And there is a one more code we need. So just wait. And here you can see there is a next code, 644 and 844. Then click on add MFA. And here you can see uh, onto our screen of our desktop that our MFA device has been added successfully. So here you can see this is our virtual MFA device which we have recently added. Now after adding the MFA device, what you need to do, we just need to sign out from our browser where we have already logged in with our test user account. So I'll just close this option over here, the message, and here you can see this is the test demo user account. So I'm just gonna open that browser once again, and uh, which is this one. So I'm just gonna sign out from here, click on sign out and click on sign in once again uh, but we need to use that particular url of our test user account so which you can find from here uh, which is into yeah this is the console link so copy this link and go to the browser paste over here and i'm just gonna copy the username from my 
notepad copy the username and the password from my notepad also and paste it over here and click on sign in over here and here you can see it is asking for my mfa so i'm just gonna access my mobile and enter the mfa over here so as you can see i have just entered my mfa from my authentication cloud click on submit and here you can see i am now able to access my aws uh, page or home page of my test user account using the mfa so this is how you are just gonna set up the mfa for your account and with that mfa your account will be more secure so this is the uh, chapter on how to use the mfa with your aws cloud